This is Tamim Iqbal. This is turning out to be a massive over. That's gone all the way. This is a six, I think. Uh, by Rambo Martinez needs a confirmation on that, but it is a massive over. And to hit. So <laughs> that was quite a paradox. So still two balls to go. Tommy McBall on strike. That's a good bouncer. That is a very good bouncer. He's mixing it up. Well, yes, that's one for the over. But this is this is another look. This is another look of Fakhar Saman. Looking to play that pull shot straight down the man's throat. At mid on. That's Madhu Shankar who held on to that catch. So last, last ball of the over. Swing and a mess. This is a good over. It's 30 for two. Oh, this is high. Straight. Six. And that's a missed opportunity for a million Pakistan rupees. I thought uh, probably we skewed that shot, but uh, just enough legs on it. And look at that try. Oh, this guy's already dropped one catch. He's moved around. <laughs> the ball boys have the best chance, isn't it? They've got the best chance to catch and win a million. Wanting a single. Yeah, would have been close. Would have been close. But they got to watch it, Pakhtuns. They've already lost two wickets, you know. Another wicket here might just uh, derail their progress. Uh, Ahmed Shahzad gave them a fantastic uh, start. But they can't take it for granted. Uh, they've lost two wickets now. And this was close. Would have been foolish to lose a wicket for just a single run in T10. Yeah, two balls to go in the over. So far, eight runs. Swing and a miss again. This is good bowling. So Dilshan, what do you think the right score? What do you think the score the Sri Lankans will be comfortable with? Actually, um, we posted a good total in the first match, uh, scoring 125. I think that was the highest total at that time. Unfortunately, they chased it down. Uh, uh, I, would like, I would say like 100 would be chaseable. Say 100 over 110 might be chaseable. Uh, teams have been scoring over 100 in the last few games, so... Hopefully under 100 maybe. So last ball of the over. This time they will get a single. At that throw hit, what would have happened? They'll get a single of the last ball. Yes. Good use of the feet. Just a single. A bowling foot. This is over the top. There is a man on the boundary. Yes, Dilshan. Yeah, yeah, we were planning to keep them under. 50. This time of the night. So, uh, Josh Sharia into the attack here. And Tamim. About maybe five overs from these two. Tamim Iqbal with a golf swing. Hits a six. You've got to love his style of batting and hitting sixes. He does it so easily. Graceful left-hander. Yes, he stands tall, doesn't he? A little shimmy. It's a wonderful extension. It really is like a golf swing. And there's no money for you tonight, Chief. More money going through the fingers. He's on the charge again. There's Tim in. We'll fire things up here in Sharjah. For the... Uh, Second part of the innings of the Pactoons. Lahiru. Big heave at this one with uh, no result. Uh, team Sri Lanka had problems with the ball in the first game. They batted beautifully. The catching wasn't special as well. A 
up and over. And this has woken up some of the crowd here on a Friday evening. Tanin Ekbal. They are conventional and ruthless. Beautiful to watch. Such a good shot this is. All good batsmen smile to play that inside out drive for a six. And he made it look ridiculously easy. Strider, strike rate of 186. Now Tamim Iqbal, 28 from 15. Three sixes and a four. And fetch that if you can, because it's sailing into the crowd. Tamim Iqbal has found another gear. Yeah, the bat swing is so uninhibited. It's just a smooth flow of the of the bat. Kick one over covers for a six and have a look at this one. It's picked up the slow ball, cleared the front leg and boom, it went for a six over mid wicket this time. Balance was great. It sailed over majestically. A couple of great sixes from the left hander. There you go, that a heave as well change of pace doing the trick three down to, to Mim is going to keep the strike here two innings but he's going to get a chance to face is he they're looking for two no he's not happy in terms of the running there was a little tangle there with to Mim and uh, Tamim has found another gap here. So they did cross, did the sensible thing with uh, Najib getting out with a sky. It allowed Tamim to get back on strike and he's dispatched another boundary and gone into the 40s. Yeah, it's been the one man army for them, making it look very easy. Good against spin. Just a little disappointed, couldn't get that one going over the field yeah. well three shy of three figures and that's what they're looking for here the Pactoons minimum break into uh, and over a hundred with uh, Tamim Iqbal who's been there from the get-go can he get a half century and keep revving up this total for the Pactoons wonderful little flick but might only be one don't see too many twos here in Sharjah It's 100, a pass score, Danny? 10 overs, charge a pitch? Yeah, I think so. You want that minimum, don't you? We've seen it being breached here on uh, day two of this T10 tournament. And that is clean. He doesn't bother moving. Does to mimic, Bonnie. He brings up the team total over three figures, and he goes to 48. Yeah, it's been special innings from to mimic, Paul. Very clean hitter of the ball, very graceful, elegant left-hander. And his hitting range is impressive also. He can cane you over covers, through the mid-wicket and square leg, and then can hit you hard down the ground as well. Yeah, big piece of willow in the hand. And heaved into the onside, he's gone to his half-century. Brought up the team total of three figures and now a personal milestone for Iqbal Tamim. Yeah, it's very good. And in the last three, four years, he's become world-class article. So confident, now having a lot of self-belief. A match winner on the day. And a terrific and a prolific champion's trophy for Bangladesh. Yeah, heart rate pumping. Rob Old. Yeah, chasing Tamim. Vishwa. He's got a couple of wickets. He was sitting on a hat trick earlier tonight. Wagon wheel. Wonderfully straight. He's such a clean striker going back towards the bowler 
and the pavilion where it came from. Delightful. I think uh, it is safe to say that acceptable and a good strike rate in T10 batting is 200. Well, that's into the gap. What a good way to finish off the innings. He's a stylish cricketer and so easy on the eye. Superb innings. Making his presence felt straight away, playing his first game and plays a dominating role for the Pakhtuns. Pakhtuns end up with 